Arbitration versus mediation, what is the difference? Understanding the nuances between different dispute resolution methods can significantly impact the outcome of a divorce. Alternative dispute resolution, ADR, methods, particularly mediation and arbitration, offer distinct pathways that can help divorcing couples resolve their conflicts outside of traditional courtroom settings. The choice between these two methods can influence not only the speed and cost of the divorce process but also the future relationship between the parties involved. The assistance of a knowledgeable New Haven family law attorney from the McConnell Family Law Group can be invaluable. Our attorneys are equipped to evaluate your case meticulously and guide you toward the most suitable ADR method based on your specific circumstances and goals. We can also help you explore your options in cases where arbitration or divorce mediation would not be recommended for your case. Why choose Alternative Dispute Resolution? Choosing Alternative Dispute Resolution, ADR, in Connecticut can significantly benefit all parties involved. ADR encompasses various techniques, mainly mediation and arbitration, which are less adversarial than traditional court proceedings. The less formal setting of ADR can reduce the emotional strain typically associated with divorce proceedings and help preserve a functional relationship post-divorce, which is especially beneficial if children are involved. Moreover, ADR is designed to be a more private process, which can protect the family's confidentiality. Mediation Mediation is a prominent form of alternative dispute resolution, ADR, that involves a neutral third party, known as a mediator, who facilitates discussions between the divorcing parties to help them reach a voluntary, negotiated agreement. The flexibility and collaborative nature of mediation can make it an ideal choice for many couples seeking a divorce. The mediation process explained. In Connecticut, the mediation process begins when both parties agree to engage a mediator to help resolve their disputes outside of court. This decision can be made independently between the parties or can be recommended by their attorneys. Once a mediator is chosen, the first session typically involves setting ground rules and an agenda for subsequent discussions. The role of a mediator in divorce cases. A mediator in a Connecticut divorce case acts as a facilitator rather than a judge. Unlike a judge, the mediator does not make decisions for the parties. Instead, their role is to encourage open communication and help the parties explore potential solutions. The mediator might also provide information about the legal system and common practices in divorce cases, although they do not give legal advice. It is important for each party to have their own attorney to provide legal advice during the process. Common Scenarios Suitable for Mediation Mediation is particularly suitable for various scenarios in Connecticut divorces. Couples seeking amicable separation. For couples who wish to part ways amicably and maintain a cordial relationship, especially when children are involved. Disputes over child custody and parenting plans. Mediation can provide a setting that focuses on the best interests of the children, away from the adversarial court atmosphere. Division of property and assets. Mediation allows couples to discuss and negotiate the division of their assets in a more flexible and creative manner than the court might. Negotiating alimony or spousal support. Mediation helps couples to reach agreements on financial support that are fair and consider the financial future of both parties. Arbitration. As another ADR method, arbitration serves as a private method where an impartial third party, known as an arbitrator, makes decisions after hearing arguments and reviewing evidence from both parties. This can be particularly effective in divorce cases where parties seek a binding resolution but prefer to have someone else preside over the decision-making process. The arbitration process detailed. In Connecticut, the arbitration process begins when both parties agree to submit their dispute to an arbitrator instead of going through the traditional court system. This agreement can either be pre-existing, often part of a prenuptial agreement, or decided upon once the need for dissolution of marriage arises. How arbitrators make decisions. Arbitrators in Connecticut divorce cases make their decisions based on the evidence and arguments presented by both parties. Unlike mediators, arbitrators have the authority to issue binding decisions, similar to a judge in a courtroom. These decisions are based on the facts of the case, the applicable Connecticut family law, and considerations of fairness and equity. When to opt for arbitration in divorce. Choosing arbitration for divorce in Connecticut may be appropriate in several scenarios. Privacy concerns. For individuals who value privacy, especially high net worth individuals or those in the public eye, arbitration keeps the divorce proceedings and outcomes confidential. Complex financial matters. 
Arbitration can be beneficial when the divorce involves complex financial issues or disputes over substantial assets, where a dedicated arbitrator can be appointed. Desire for speed and control. Arbitration can be faster than traditional court litigation and provides parties with more control over the timing and rules governing the process. Need for a definitive decision. For couples who are unable to come to an agreement through mediation or negotiations and prefer a decision maker to render a final judgment. Key differences between arbitration and mediation. In Connecticut, both arbitration and mediation serve as popular alternatives to traditional courtroom litigation in divorce cases, but they operate under different principles and frameworks. Understanding the key distinctions between these two forms of alternative dispute resolution, ADR, can help parties choose the most appropriate method for their specific situation. Level of formality and structure. Arbitration is generally more formal than mediation but less formal than court proceedings. In arbitration, the process resembles a court trial where both parties present evidence and arguments, and there is a procedural framework that must be followed. The arbitrator controls the process, including the introduction of evidence and the scheduling of sessions. The sessions are private, maintaining confidentiality but adhering to strict rules similar to those in a court setting. Mediation, on the other hand, is less structured and more flexible. It does not follow a rigid procedural code. Instead, mediation sessions are driven by open dialogue facilitated by a mediator. The parties are encouraged to communicate directly to negotiate an agreement, with the mediator guiding the process and helping clarify issues without imposing any decisions. This informal setting often makes mediation less intimidating and more accommodating to the emotional nuances of divorce. What is the purpose of the neutral third party? In arbitration, the arbitrator acts much like a judge, albeit in a private setting. The arbitrator listens to both sides, evaluates evidence, and makes decisions that are legally binding. The arbitrator's role is to ensure fairness and adherence to the law, ultimately concluding the process by issuing a decision based on the arguments and evidence presented. In mediation, the mediator does not make decisions or offer judgments. Instead, the mediator's role is to facilitate communication and promote understanding between the parties. Mediators help identify the issues, encourage exploration of alternatives, and assist in the negotiation of an agreement. They might suggest solutions, but they do not enforce decisions, leaving the final agreement entirely up to the parties involved. Decision-making power and finality. The decision-making power in arbitration is solely in the hands of the arbitrator. Once the arbitrator makes a decision, it is typically final and legally binding, similar to a court judgment. This means that the parties must adhere to the arbitrator's decision, and there is limited scope for appeal, making arbitration a suitable option for those seeking a definitive conclusion. In mediation, the decision-making power rests entirely with the parties involved. The mediator does not and cannot make decisions for the parties. Instead, any agreement reached is mutually consensual and only becomes binding if both parties agree to it. If no agreement is reached, the parties may still decide to go to court, making mediation a non-binding process unless an agreement is formalized. Choose the right alternative dispute resolution method for you. If you are facing a divorce and need help deciding whether mediation or arbitration is the best path forward, consider consulting with a family law attorney from the McConnell Family Law Group. Our team is ready to assess your specific needs, offer detailed explanations of your options, and support you through every step of the process. Contact us today at 203-344-7762 to start the conversation and move towards a resolution that aligns with your personal and family goals.